Today, let us take some time to engrave God's teaching. According to your faith, let it be done to you. When we think about what we need the most in our life of faith, we can say that it is truly faith. If we do not have faith, we will be grumbling, which is the result of unbelief. In the end, we will not be able to receive anything. According to the book of Galatians, chapter 6, what does the Bible say? What does a man do with what he sows? All the words of God are fulfilled. There is not a single word which is not accomplished. Everything is being fulfilled. God calls us to the holy and great work of God, which will be fulfilled, and grants us the glory of heaven because we participated in God's work, even a little. When the athletes win a medal in the Olympics, they are given military exemptions in Korea. For example, the soccer team is in medal contention. Then the coaches let all the team members play the game at least once so that they are given an advantage. If they win a medal, even if they only participated in the game for five minutes, they will receive military exemptions. Thus, coaches make all players play even one minute or five minutes for them. Preach the gospel, the good news of life, to all mankind. Since God commanded us this, this will be surely accomplished, won't it? God has given us the opportunity to participate in the work of God that will be accomplished, even if we do not participate in it. We cannot help but give thanks and glory to Father and Mother for this. Also, while He lets us participate in the Gospel, what does He give to us according to the book of Philippians chapter 4? He even gives us strength. We cannot do anything by our own abilities. However, God gives strength to all those who believe and follow God's will so that they can do everything through God who gives them strength. He lets them do everything with the strength God has given them. We must also believe this fact. Also, the thing that we absolutely need is faith. Those who are left in Zion until the end, by following wherever God leads them, and who are recorded in Jerusalem, what will happen to them in the end? It is written that they will be called holy. They are holy people of God. That is why they are called saints, meaning the people of God. That is why it is clearly written in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, this calls for patient endurance on the part of the people of God who keep His commands. If we have faith in God, in the world believing in God, what changes will take place in our daily lives, around us, and in the field of the gospel? We must not imitate those without faith.